Lane's Boys coming to you with another video about natural hair and in particular fine natural hair. So I am on today to show you how I got this protective style because I haven't been making any videos lately because all I have been doing is protective styling. I decided to try something and see if maybe I could film it and post it and it actually turned out pretty good. So this is the protective style that I'm wearing. I did this last night and I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see it. And basically in the back, it's just kind of rolled and tucked in and pinned with a couple of bobby pins. And then this front portion is one giant flat twist that I pinned in, you know, like that, which you'll see on the video. So um, I definitely am shocked because normally it takes me to, a while to come up with something, but I did it. I really liked it and thank goodness I filmed it. So I decided to post it. And if you'd like to see how I got this look, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I will see you on the next video. So I am working with a three day old perm set. I'm ready to get rid of this. This is like 10 o'clock at night and I decided what, I wonder if I could do a protective style. So what I'm doing now is moisturizing my hair with some water. I added the Shisenta uh, Daily Moisturizer. Um, that is one of the leave-in products that I use um, is that brand. I love her products. Um, I do product looping, so my uh, and what that means is I use products with similar ingredients because I know those ingredients work well with my hair. So in particular, things that have slippery elm um, and burdock root are products that typically work very well in my hair as far as for a leave-in conditioner. So I pretty much can use anything um, that she sent it puts out. But at any rate, I'm um, moisturizing my hair just a little bit and I am going to detangle. I'm going to use my white tooth comb here just for an initial uh, detangling just to kind of be gentle on the hair strands. And then I'll go in with my detangling brush and finish it up. Now one thing I did want to say here is um, I normally use a Denman brush and you've seen that in previous videos. But recently I purchased a Felicia Leatherwood a detangling brush and I love it I saw it in some other YouTube videos and I decided to try it since it has um, you know kind of like the spaced out uh, sections and you'll see it here when I pick it up and I really really love this brush it's a lot gentler on my hair than a Denman brush because it actually has give to it and flows with the hair so this is my new boo thing and this is the detangling brush that I've been using so I'm just going to detangle this really, really well, and then I will twist up this set section, and I will do this to my entire head. my entire head I've moisturized it and now I'm going to take my tangling brush and start moving my hair up um, let me uh, just say right here that normally when I would if I would do something like this like move my hair up for a pub or you know a protective style of some sort I would um, be putting Echo Styler gel or some type of gel um, on here to kind of assist me putting my hair up. The reason why I'm not doing it here is because, like I said, this is 10 o'clock at night. I was gonna try something really quick, decided to turn on the camera to see if it worked, and it, and it worked. 
Um, if it didn't work, then I was just going to go ahead and twist my hair up. Um, so that's why you kind of see me not using gel here. But if you want to kind of get that sweet look, um, which I'm going to have to do at the end um, by adding gel, you should really as your hair is um, being pushed up at this moment, um, the gel will kind of assist with that. The reason why I'm using a detangling brush as opposed to a regular brush at this point is because the detangling brush just kind of gets down all the way to my scalp and especially if I'm using gel it's just helpful to get that spread out and to make sure I get everything nice and laid flat and it just gets everything down in there as opposed to just kind of laying on the surface of my head so that's kind of the reason why you don't see me using gel at this point but just to make a note that you know as I push my hair up if I really knew how this style was going to turn out and that it was going to be good and useful that I would be using gel at this point in addition to the water that I'm adding. So I'm kind of laughing at myself here look at this uh, box fade. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going in with my brush and get getting everything all nice and sleek um, and flat to my head. Like I said, gel should have already been there and that would have, you know, definitely helped this. And I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I, I kind of wanted my back to be flat. Um, so I'm going to do like a kind of a roll and a tuck sort of thing. I'm not really good at those, um, but you know, practice makes perfect. So I've been working on it and... I mean, my hair stays up, um, so, you know, that's kind of the only thing that matters, but I um, kind of want to keep doing them just to kind of get better at it, and that's what I'm doing here, and I'm only going to use, like, two bobby pins um, to make sure that my hair stays up in the tuck, and you'll see that here soon. I'm doing it like this you guys is because I really wanted the front of my head to be the center of attention so I got everything you know all tucked away in the back ends are tucked in so great protective style I'm just kind of checking the back to make sure I like the way it looks and now I'm gonna go in and style the front This bottle, I tell you, this spray bottle just works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. Again, this would have been a great place to add gel um, if I was you know, doing this style and knew that it was going to work out. So, putting a little Jamaican, uh, castor oil, Jamaican black castor oil on the sides of my hair, again, just to kind of protect myself uh, from gel, like I said, like what I would normally use. And now I'm going to start black twisting. So before I do that, let me just tell you guys, this was a little difficult for me because all of my hair is on top of my head. And so it's kind of thick. And I'm a fine hair natural. I'm used to my fine, thin hair. And it was kind of hard to get through. Um, but I was hanging on for dear life and just trying to make sure that, um, you know, I've got a nice flat twist on this. So it's just your standard flat twist where you're going to go in and kind of hold that and then grab another section of hair and kind of twist it around itself and I'm really holding this pretty tight. And I'm also taking my time just to make sure I don't snag my hair at all. Um, yes, it's the tangle, but you know how that goes with curly hair. It kind of tangles on itself pretty fast. So I'm almost 
to the end here and as I'm kind of doing it, I, I kind of noticed or felt at least that I was doing this tighter than I wanted. So once I actually get this um, together, I kind of look at myself in the mirror there, I'm kind of loosening up my grip on this twist at this point. So you're gonna kind of see it start to spread out a little bit. So I'm twisting, but I'm definitely um, losing my grip a little bit just to make sure the hair expands. And as I take a look, it's a little tighter than I wanted, so I kind of loosen it just a little bit. And I also let it go because when you do that, the hair is going to expand on itself. And I kind of like this look, so this is where I'm going to pin it. But I'm just kind of, you know, taking my time because I want the hair to expand, you know, a little bit so it's not just a skinny uh, flat twist that we can often get with our fine natural hair. And I'm adding some Jamaican black castor oil to my ends. Got to take care of those ends. And I am going to uh, pin my hair in like you saw before. Okay, you guys, now I'm looking at this and it's cute. And I'm like, dang, Ugh, I should have put gel on my hair. But like I said, I was looking for an out. Because if this didn't look right, I was going to take it down and do a twist out or flat twist out or something. But I actually like it. So now I got to add some gel to kind of slick, uh, you know, get it more sleek than what it is with just using um, a water leave-in and a brush. playing with this here and I'm actually going to take a hairpin and stick it there and actually in hindsight after I tied my hair up and slept overnight to actually set the style that pin wasn't needed so um you know it was just something that I added because I thought it was needed at the time now I'm looking like oh man my edges would be really cute if I, they were sleek right here gel and you're gonna kind of see how you have a few pieces here that kind of jumped up again those would have been taken care of if I had added gel at the beginning of the hairstyle so if you do this hairstyle make sure you add gel at the beginning because now you know what it's gonna look like and it's actually going to turn out so you can go ahead and add that gel the next morning and I have five minutes before I need to leave the house. So I untied my hair. Look at that. Cute. Love it. 
So I decided to flick my edges just a little more in the front. Um, and that's what I'm gonna do here. But like I said, I'm leaving the house in five minutes. Those are all the views. I really like it. And I think it turned out well. So I just got my handy dandy toothbrush adding a little water. And it's just for that middle section at the top that isn't quite um, uh, as sleek as I would like it. So I'm just going to do that and add my scarf um, after that. And that is it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And like I said, I've been protective styling for quite a long time. Maybe I'll have some more videos. Oh, that right there, my Mr. Misto, which is an olive oil sprayer. That's avocado oil in there. And I just spray it in my hand, love it. But um, if I do more protective styles and they come out cute, then you guys will see a video from me. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video.